And good evening, this is Kotel for another War Rights event. We got a War of Secession campaign, and I am joined by a man from the future. Joining <laughs> us from tomorrow, Mr. Parker, how are you doing this fine morning? Hi, I'm good, yeah. Checking in on the 16th of September. Don't know the uh, video thumbnail or description for you. Uh, no, I'm very good, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, good having you, man. Looking forward to uh, you giving some extra commentary. Uh, now we have for the map, it is an Otto and Sherrick, 275 on the server pop, 141 for the defending CSA versus 133 for the attacking Union. And um, on the big board, just so people are aware, this is still in that central peninsula between the York and James River in the forest between, uh, well, southeast of Williamsburg as the Confederacy attempts to delay the advance of the Union up from Yorktown, and this is the IB attacking the 1st VA as they try to clear the words on their approaches up to Williamsburg. But um, that is what's going on on the big board as we are momentarily going live here. Um, what, do you, what, can, what are you uh, expecting to see from this Otto and Sherrick? What do you, uh, how does this map usually play out, uh, have you noticed, Mr. Parker? Ah, well, I mean, you've, uh, you've dubbed a certain position on this map. Uh, I don't know if it's fair or not with my name, but... Uh... I think there's two main two main things I guess you can try on this map. The first one's not really clean. It's pretty dirty, to be honest. But there's a rock at the bottom of the hill uh, on CSA left, Union right. you got to hop over the fences and really haul ass to get there, to be honest. But it's not a bad place to fight from. You do have uh, a little bit of cover just from the shade of the trees and a bit of rock around you and stuff. But um, it does tend to become a bit of a tooth and nail fight. Or in Sherrick, of course, is a map where you have a massive advantage as Union with tickets. So you can do it. The alternative that we've done recently a couple of times is a really hard and aggressive left push. And you kind of turn the map into a fight from left to right, and it kind of fucks up the CSE artillery a bit as well. So, I don't know. I think the right avenue is definitely more popular, but uh, the left avenue is not to be discredited by any means. Yep, and it looks like we've got the Union starting to move out here. Um, let's see, you got multiple units. I'll probably do a roll call once we uh, get into a uh, little bit of a moment of here but we do have an interesting unit here i would like us to uh notice i believe they're your cousins i'm not sure how many times removed here <laughs> and they are they are tall if you are hearing the uh, chatter here we've got a captain m parker a private d parker a volunteer m parker a w parker H Parker, P Parker, S Parker. Look, S -Parker. Man, look, look, man, all right, times are tough. You know, mum's at work. I have to take care of the kids today. And uh, <laughs> they're, they're all on the front line right now. They're earning their keep, all right? I, I mean, so child care is expensive. Working, man, all right? Child <laughs> care is expensive, so, you know, exactly, it's good man. to see you, you know, bringing them out. You know, you know, bring I'm your... Trying, uh, you know what it is, man? I'm trying to get the right attitudes in Grain Daily. They're all here fighting for the good cause, all right? All fighting for the union. I see all in line, doing volleys, the learning, the Parker Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> good job, Captain M. Parker. <laughs> And here they all are in line. I don't, I don't know where we're shooting at. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of Parker comments in chat today, but they should make for good reading. So, you know. Oh you yeah, yeah. You gotta, you know, you, it's good they can, you know, get some of their school work done too. I suppose while they're at that work. But uh, what do you think? You know, the uh, CSA defense so far it looks like they're kind of spreading the field quite a bit. Do you think this uh, works for them, or you? Uh, be concerned about them not being able to mess up in any location I'd, I'd be more concerned from the usa attack right now i think um the stone wall i think is a little bit of a red herring on this map to be honest um i always say i don't think any unit. oh there's a good artillery shot as i say that i always say that i don't think any unit is as good at shooting this game as they think they are and you're really not going to ping enough shots down as union from this real stone wall so i think csa is set up well especially that little l shape you see at the top of the hill on the right side and i think the guys on the csa's right are uh, doing pretty well by coming up and actually probing the side here because well to be honest union's done nothing so far so so far csa i think is uh reading the field a lot better as well as moving a lot better and, and uh, what do you think about the already being placed this far forward on the hill at the moment for the CSA, kind of in that center, anchoring that L formation. Yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's a good idea. Um, Union can't properly get to the top of the hill on this map. They can, as you get towards the barn, it goes out of bounds. So that cannon, especially near the white fence, is definitely in bounds. The one to the left might not be. Um, but I think it's a pretty good position, especially 
because Union often does this right hand push. If they get good shells and case down into that little, it's kind of like a little dip, like a little, uh, it goes down a little bit, um, like a little defilade. If they get at all too comfortable in that defilade, I think you'll start seeing some Marty shots catching people and probably catch them crouching as well. Yep. Now we have the Union coming in full bore. CSA coming to meet them. Interesting move. What do you think about the CSA moving forward to meet this Union attack? I, to be honest, would have probably stayed at the top of the hill. I'd have let the cannons do some heavy work, um, keep a little bit of distance, because, as I said at the start, there is a big ticket advantage for Union on this map, um, and have a little bit of faith by keeping distance, letting the cannons do the work, and if they stop in that little ditch that you can kind of see there and now, and there's the first shell, a lot of those guys are going to start getting tempted to crouch, and the more they crouch, the more skirmishing tickets they're going to take. So I think if they hold the top of that hill best they can, I think they can outshoot them, to be honest. It's kind of a fishbowl effect almost. Yep, I think I agree with you. And it looks like the CSA is moving additional troops up to the top of the hill uh, to bring some additional fire on. Um, I was seeing some Union troops hanging out by the uh, the house at the top of the hill, but everyone moved in. Yeah, there's another already shot. As you were just mentioning. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can find Parker. I, mean, I want to make sure he's alive. There's at least one in there. My bloodline will continue. Oh, I'm that's sure good. That. One, one, must, one must survive. Oh, I say that, and about three just bit the dust. So hopefully they were the weakest of the bunch, Darwin and stuff. Um, but three still make that two is still standing. <laughs> yes, S and H. And W Parker remained. Oh, do not worry, our parkers are kind of like rats. We breed really quickly and then multiply, so do not fear if you oh, see them you know, go down. Know, it's a virile, I think they, they call that. Yes, that's a yes, that's a much more complimentary uh, description. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, he went with the rats. It's like ah. I don't know about that. We're also really fucking annoying, so you know, it does kind of... <laughs> tough, tough to get rid of. Tough to get rid of. We'll go with that. Yes, persistent. You know, persistent. Yes. Persistent, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. It does look like Hoods are deploying over to the Union left flank now. I don't know if they think there was a spot there, which they can't probably see in the shade of the trees. You do have night hidden, but uh, this might get brutal if they get much closer. I'll be up six North Carolinas over here, kind of going off against them. Now, I'm not seeing too much oh, Union already yet. Um, looks like they're getting cannons into position. Um, yeah. How do you think uh, Union should be using their already at the moment? Um, I do like Counterbat on Auto Shark Farm for Union Artillery. I think it's pretty well positioned from the get-go, and you don't really have to move or do anything. Um, the I do see some units, uh, if you look from the Union Artillery position west, I have seen them roll it up almost towards that cornfield so they can see more of the houses and things on the farm itself, which is also pretty viable because CSA normally do hold around there. But if we're talking just to purely in terms of tickets, then I think counter-battery shots are a pretty pretty effective way to use that ammunition that they have. Yeah, I think I would agree with that. And I do see 14 Tennessee is on Artie. Um, I think you were with us on Friday when we saw they were doing their... had a pretty good Artie performance on... Uh, I can't even remember what map it was. <laughs> I'm... God, I can't remember yesterday, man. I'm no help to you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, ah... It's brained up the maps. It's like, yeah, oh, it's only really... 10 maps in a weekend. I'll remember each one. <laughs> I do worry for the Hoods Division boys here. That cannon on top of the hill to their west is kind of eyeing them up and probably licking their lips right now because they are a little bit too stationary for my life. Yeah, Rock is a very attractive, you know, position, but Artie tends to, you know, have it kind of dialed in and can kind of put it right in there. Yeah. Rip war, I'm sorry. Uh, it looks like we're about even ticket spread right now. Maybe slight advantage for the CSA. But we're at uh, coming in at the 35 minute mark. Um, how do you how do you uh, how you seeing the battle shape up right now? Do you think the Union needs to uh, change anything up, or do you think they need to? Uh, what would you recommend they uh, do, or just hold what they got at the moment? Uh, I'd certainly not recommend holding. I think they need to get more aggressive. Um, for, for kind of like comparison purposes, the ticket advantage they have on this map is is similar to the advantage they have on River Crossing. And I'm glad to see they're now pressing that up the hill on the right as we're yep, speaking. Yep, looks like EB Patriot is leading the way. He might run out of bounds here is the only issue, so he's got to be careful that he makes this count if they're going to pursue them all the way. Yeah, 
Ah, uh, but he's gonna get some nice tickets out of that already as well, though. Fuck me! Why is he taking the You can see how quickly these tickets are, are collapsing for both sides now, though. Yeah, absolutely. I hear I hear calls for Parker, president I or prime well. minister. I, I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, I'm I'm grateful nonetheless. So I, thank you. you know, <laughs> you're you're an anti-monarchist, I believe, so I vote for you. <laughs> sure, absolutely. There you go. I've been doxxed, guys. <laughs> oh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Oh, I, mean, I, I hope the crown doesn't come after you. I, I don't know if you were aware of this, but King Charles is an avid viewer of the Kota War of Rights channel, so... He's I that may... guy that keeps... Okay, you know what? Yeah. I was wondering who. That one guy that keeps disliking them as they go live? Yeah, he's going to extra yes, dislike it. I yes. just said that, so... You know, I my know head it... might be on a spike by the end of the week, so thanks for that. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, you know, it's, it's but your bloodline is secure, so, you know... Absolutely. God, Parkers. Well tied. Your legacy is, you know, well... Uh... Well established. They can't kill. They can't get you off. Oh, absolutely not. There's way too many of us, and they're way too annoying. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so moving out here, it looks like that attack is kind of petered out. Um, the CSA has cleared their right side. Um, not really much other change though. We're about even on tickets now. Let's see what we got. Do you think the what do you think about early capping now for the Union, or do you think they should try to get the uh, CSA at least down to uh, engage before even thinking about that? Um, they're not, I mean, they are slightly behind on progress, I guess you could say. Um, if by capping it draws them out for longer, they're not really ahead or behind. I mean, the tickets are near enough comparable now, so I don't think it's a bad idea. If they were massively in front, I would say there's no point in doing it. But there are, in fact, they're probably marginally behind right now, I'd say, so... It's probably not a bad idea just to extend the game clock a little bit. Yeah, and uh, campaign-wise, uh, the CSA is a little bit behind on casualties as well, so it might always be a good thing to uh, get some extra casualties that way. If you're aiming at the rebel, you're not going to hit them if they're behind a the fence. I'm trying to find my Parkers again here. Remember that white fence does not offer Oh, I, they're coming down from the stone wall. <laughs> they're coming down now. <laughs> oh, there they are. I feel like this should be one of those proud dad moments, but I'm just so lost for words that I'm going to say... Uh... Oh, it's Parker Brigade now, apparently. Apparently we're now a Brigade. Oh, oh you're a Brigade, ah. That grew quickly. I told you we'd go quickly, didn't I? Yeah, I I do it. <laughs> It's like three years later, there's 20 more of you. Like, what the hell happened, right? I'm gonna go talk to people. MCOs, take over. MCOs, take over. Parker Brigade! Parker Brigade is here! The Parker Brigade is here indeed. I wonder how the uh, fellow members of the NYV would feel if I asked to rebrand us. <laughs> Probably not great. Shoot through the fence, don't aim at the person, you won't hit them. You guys shoot through the. So CSA has hit engage now. Ooh, that already shot hit. Who is this? I don't even know who's left. Not many. That's a good shot, yeah. Oh, that was poor 6th uh, uh, North Carolina. They got turned to jam there. As uh, Jehovah would say. Interesting. There is actually skirmishes up on the CSA artillery as well. Fall back. Fall back. Is, uh, and shoot. Fall back. Probably doesn't get the best shots down on the Union, considering there's frenies in their way of the shots, but uh, you never know. They might pick off a few guys. Got some elements of the JD up there. Yeah, it might get a couple shots in. Now, I've always wondered about this. I've never tried it, so I might ask you about it. What would you think about backing off a point now and trying to find a more defensible position to kind of bait the CSA in? as opposed to holding on that fence. Um, I suppose the argument would be, while they're up front on the fence lines, they are probably enticing the CSA to come out and engage them from the fence lines anywhere to their front, I, I, I assume. Um, if they move back, the CSA would, of course, come onto the point itself, but I suppose them being up here is them trying to say, 
it doesn't really matter how many of us you kill because if we if we lose more people and even if we lose the capture and they recap they're getting their tickets back that's always the thing that we always uh, talk about like on your channel and whatnot so I don't think it's a bad idea to be up there. It, they're pretty much saying if we can go even close to one for one with you guys, you're not winning even if you recapture because you're not going to get anything considerable back in terms of tickets. No, and we are on the uh, five second spawn timer, and, and I am of the opinion, I'm not sure if you would agree, that these are much easier maneuvers with that five second versus that ten second spawn timer. It's, you know, to be honest, I think it's almost incomparable. Like, if you had in, this happen in a HDC event, I think most of that union line on that fence line would be in quite dire straits right now. But you can see right now there's there's almost no holes in it. People come back almost as quick as they're killed right yeah, now, I good. think. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very tough to outshoot this line. And they have a very strong, I'm kind of zooming out right now, L formation here. I'm not really seeing any weaknesses. If you were the CSA commander, how, do you th how would you approach an attack against this line? Uh, you have to try and collapse one of the flanks. Um, I think if you run straight down onto the, uh, straight down towards the tree, which is pretty much the center point of the uh, of the point of contention on this map, it's going to be quite a rough time because the the flanks could just turn inwards. It's, it's almost like there's a almost a Union reserve still in the kind of the ditch on this right side with Knife Corps. Although saying that, they're now running up. Um, so I'd probably go for one of the flanks. I think the CSA right would probably be easier to literally roll down the road. Um, but yeah, one of the flanks and try and roll up as best you can. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of success for attacks from the direction that you that you point because there's a lot of cover that you can kind of collapse in on and you can just kind of force your way down that fence. Yeah, it's also nearest to the CSA spawn, so it does allow for one of those bonsai charges. If the, the first re uh, capture fails, then... It is quite perfectly allow for a big push through the cover of the trees. You're kind of shaded and whatnot, and then push straight down into the road again. But I mean, we always talk about it. The longer this capture goes on, the the more it's going to hurt ticket exchange, um, and the harder it's going to get for CSA. Although that said, of course, with the com the campaign board, the union is almost definitely going to take more ticket. Uh, sorry, casualties, I should say, on auto on auto shark farm. So maybe that does play into it a little bit as well if they're trying to drain a few more casualties off of the uh, the token piece engaged yeah that might be part of the calculus it's always tough to tell and um but i, I think that might not be part of it and two the other thing i don't like about that attack on the union right or the, C the csa left is that kind of the mirror of what you just said that's the closest to union spawn it's not super close but you're gonna have a you know if you kill a unit and you're fighting your way up if you don't kill the next unit fast enough they're gonna be in your ass you know, knocking you back pretty quick yeah, absolutely. I also love the CSA position when um you when you when you get a really good line of men on the straight fence opposite to where the uh, hoods division is standing right now, the, the straight fence nearest to CSA artillery. You get a very nice strafing volley down that entire line. Now, of course, you'll take a few a few licks on the way in, but if you form up a line and volley straight down across the point, you're gonna you're gonna get just such a probably catastrophic amount of kills from from your position alone that that could be pretty deadly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yes. But yeah, I'm. I'm uh, now there is no Steam chat, just so people are aware. So that's you know everything is done by runners. So that might be part of the reason we're not seeing a immediate counterattack here. But um, yeah, they're, they're losing a bit of time on this. Yeah, it, you'd presume it'd be one of the things they would discuss on the Auto Shark Farm because it's such a hard map for CSA. So many times I've seen CSA play, to be honest, almost perfectly, and they still lose by half a morale state, even a whole morale state sometimes, just because of the advantage. So I'd be surprised if they didn't plan around an early capture, just because it's such a difficult map for them to win, even when they play so well. Yep, looks like, okay, now, now just as I was talking, looks like they are starting to set up a charge. Although it looks like they're going to go on the left side. We'll, we'll see how this works. It's like 83rd, 9th Corps IB is down here waiting for them. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the attack isn't coming in. Never mind. CSA is swinging down on the Union right now, headed by uh, Legion down here. I'm going to run. 
Right, they're coming to the right. They're hitting the right corner. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to have quite enough punch, though, unfortunately, for them. At the same time, you do have, it looks like, some CSA forces attacking the opposite flank, but of course, you now diverge your force in two, so... Nice, keep going, keep going. And we'll see if Parker's boys can hold. But look it over, it looks like the CSA won the fight on the right side. Absolutely, the left looks very contested right now. It's Once these guys arrive for bayonets, it's going to be fairly 50-50, I think. But if the right moves in now... They can collapse them regardless. I don't think it matters how well they do on the other flank. No, I agree. I think uh, you'll see the you get troops back in time. Hold up, Mr. Price. I don't think get, they will. Get safe, brother. No, I don't. Yeah. Props to them. I mean, that was a very effective uh, two flank attack from CSA. Though. You don't often see that, to be honest. No, especially not on a like Steam that. chat. That's, that's a very rare for an event without Steam chat to pull off a uh, envelopment like that. Absolutely. Props to them. Very well done. Good. Fuck I didn't think it would work. Yeah. I, I, I am. I was. I was ready to be like, "Yep, that's not going to work." But no, no, they they managed it quite well. I'd give big credit to this CSA unit on the right. I, I think this is JD. That either they they knew what the plan was, or they reacted to the CSA charging on the other flank, and they 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 either used their eyes or their brains to remember things. And yeah, that's a very effective, uh, very effective counter attack. Get up! It's just a scratch. Get up! Get up! Yep, so, but I mean, the, the bad thing right now is, and there's not much you can do about this. Well, it goes back to what we were talking about on time, is now we're at taking losses at 32-30. Which is not ideal for the uh, defender, unfortunately, for them. No, this is, and you can see the tickets, it's it's almost dead level, despite the CSA wiping the entire Union force and recapping. In fact, CSA slightly behind, despite that entire wipe and everything that came uh, like before it. and during it. And they have two Union Where flags down in the field in front of them, and they're about to recap, and they'll obviously get back to level tickets now, but it's it's just how hard this map is. Such a good move from them, to be honest, they have only a little to show for it. And as you say, taking losses with 32 and a half minutes is a brutal position to be in by any measure. Uh, it's such a shame because, you know, you see a great maneuver like that, and, you know, Really, nothing really to criticize about it. And the reward is so meager. If I may, um, I, obviously the developers uh, asked before about uh, maps and rebalancing tickets and things. Now, I said there was two maps on my mind. Um, this is one of those maps uh, that I think deserves a big ticket rebalance. Do you do you see the same thing that it should be a lot narrower on the ticket margin? Oh, absolutely. Um... I would definitely give him the uh, ticket balance in CSA on this map. I think it would make for much more interesting gameplay. Absolutely, yeah. I would love Cook's Counter Charge to be included in that list as well. Um, I think these two maps specifically, Cook's Counter Charge and Otto Sherrick are the two that I would... Especially Cook, because I think it's such a good map, but it's so difficult to win as Union, which is really kind of demotivating, to be honest. Yeah, but, uh, I would, yeah. I would agree. I would love that. The other thing with Cooks I would love to do is to move the point of contention back to where the road is. Um, if you know where the road is opposite the field. Um, not, not quite in the field. If you move it back a little bit more um, and you kind of extend out the uh, field a little bit further back, there's some interesting terrain back there that you can maneuver off of, but it's so far outside of the, you know, being able to affect point, nobody ever uses it. Kind of on a uh, yeah. four stream, not four stream. Uh, I forget the name of the, the map on a conquest, but it's a conquest map that we, we tend to play on that one quite a bit. You get some maneuvers back there, you know, the farm is burning, and you know, it's a really interesting terrain back there, but never gets used on the skirmish maps. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you could argue historical with me, but, you know, there was no such thing as a floating point that you stood on and won a battle. That I'm aware of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd assume not, no. Yeah. I, to my knowledge as well, if you got shot, you didn't tend to come back. Um, Unless you were Parker, like but you know, then there were so many of them. 
Well, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, obviously that's circumstantial, though, you know, it's very specific. Um, but apart from that, gen general the thumbs, uh, you know, as far as I'm aware, the, uh, they didn't tend to respawn much. Apart from around Halloween time, I heard, uh, they do tend to come back as zombies in War of Rights. Well, you know, um, yeah, that was a very important historical episode. Uh, uh, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. My brain's not working. I'm not coming up with a good joke, so I'm just going to get off of that. <laughs> We'll go again next time, don't worry. We got yeah, I'll edit that out. I'll edit that whole section with this beer from the video. And then, hey, that's my bad. I threw the ball up. I didn't know you weren't ready. Oh, I was, I, I, you, you threw it up there, and I'm like, yeah, it's up there. It's coming right from my face. You can do anything about it? No, no, I'm just going to let it hit you in the face. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, Lord. The high quality commentary you guys uh, pay for. Absolutely. This is what the people come back for every week, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe below for more of this uh, high quality uh, historical anecdotes on the zombies. <laughs> Could you imagine a reenactment event with zombies? <laughs> I'm surprised we have. You know what? That is a fucking idea to do a uh, to do a reenactment event with the zombies and have it like as like a you know a grainy you know uh, voiceover. You know, have some guys, you know, tweed historians giving commentary. Get Shelby Foot. Uh, I'll do an AI of Shelby Foot. Absolutely. I mean, I, I remember Andrew saying about, hey, what about we try some, like, you know, counterfactual history examples? And I think I think we got, you know, the, we got the context for it right there. What if, after the Battle of Antietam, everybody came back alive again? And we had to fire off the zombie horde instead around about November. Uh, sorry, October even. Yep, 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 yeah, it's, you know, you can't say it couldn't happen, you know. I mean, was anybody there? I don't think anybody was there. So, no, no, you know, hey, how, how were they to say? To you need right. to give the zombie perspective of history, you know. Very important. Hear me out. River crossing, oh, zombie okay. invasion. Uh, no, Just not saying, at that all. sounds like an Oscar winning film. Was there, did we not have river crossing at, on zombie mode? Well, the zombie mode was more drill cam, wasn't it, I believe? Or am I just losing my mind here? I, I can't even remember I that. Can't far, remember. I, can't, I can't remember a couple days ago. You think I would have remembered last time? <laughs> I thought it was more kind of the drill camp areas, but I, I think, uh, now, I think, now, I, now I'm doubting myself. Yeah, I guess I, I, I think there was a. I couldn't have sworn I did one on Harpers Ferry in the town. But I don't remember doing it on the bridge. It was like the Rivertown map where it's kind of, you know, you already passed the bridge. Start shooting, boys. Start shooting. I'll have to go back and watch some videos of the zombies now, because I, I, my sanity is in the bin now after that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was fun, to be fair. It was, uh, it was a very interesting game mode. Uh, I, I mean, it's only, um, what, 2 in the morning for you right now, and you're not remembering specifically an event from a year ago from a video game? This is... Yeah, this is peak time for me, though, you know? This is uh, this is when I come alive, so... My guys always joke in this sick fire. EU Parker is a lot more stable than NA Parker, so, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if that's uh, environmentally driven, though. I do wonder. I think it's just coincidence, I'll be honest with you. So, as we've been uh, jawjacking here, that's because there hasn't been much movement. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Union is still stuck in his defilade you mentioned earlier. Um, it looks like they're kind of falling behind a little bit on tickets now, just a little bit. I mean, they have time, but uh, what do you think? They maintain this and just kind of shoot it out for a bit, or you think they should make another play, uh, either for point or up the hill? As Union, I, I just I really don't like this ditch. You're seeing these shells coming over from the CSA artillery. Maybe not doing the most damage, but they're certainly killing a few here and there. That one's a lot better, though, on the left of the USA line. I think that knocked down two flags. Whoever just shot that cannon, and if we can get eyes on that, that gunner, he, he deserves a medal for sure. But um, no, I don't think that bridge is... Uh, well, that definitely even sorry is a good there's a good place to be i think if they moved up to the rocks on the base of the hill right that'd be much more productive even if they moved up towards the uh, the white picket fence next to the little brick shed hey you can do some big damage from there but uh yeah this ridge is this sorry this definitely is not really the place to be in my opinion let's go, let's go. Left face, no, i think i agree with you man, now we do have a uh, ninth core and um apparently they are now a gurkha unit uh, we'll leave that aside. You follow that crazy white man with your life. It's not his fault he doesn't have melanin. I'm gonna move away from that. Alec again. 
<laughs> Just to clarify, sorry, you said this is a non-Steam event, right? This is a non-Steam event, yep. Oh, interesting. Um, are they allowed any comms like Discord to communicate? I presume with their own unit. Uh, Discord with your own unit, yes. Uh, okay. I was going to say, the uh, JD officer down here, second lieutenant rebel, does have a pretty good eye on Snave that unit. Come down 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 down. Down. obscured in the bush here. But I presume he's able to relay to the JD boys, and perhaps they can relay to the rest of the CSA quite effectively if he needs to. I almost didn't even see him there till I hit right click and uh, um, saw the little star in the bush. Yeah, that could. I think there's no. Yeah, that's that's all legal. I mean, it just can't be from. Uh, yeah, you can use your own internal comms. You just can't uh, use those third-party comms without the unit. So yeah, that could work just fine. Oh, just choking. All right. <laughs> Oh, hold it. Yeah, let's see. So Union now... <laughs> so I think capping might be out of the uh, equation until they get the CSA down to uh, the breaking. Um, they are down quite a bit now. CSA are doing well to increase this ticket lead. Uh, they must be out killing them at a fairly significant rate for the last five minutes to have that ticket gap open up. With the... No, they, they have been. It, it, it's even. In fact, the Union's got a slight number advantage, only five. But... I, th I think it goes back to what you were talking about earlier, you know, on that ditch. Most of them moved out now, but you know, I think they more kills than people realize up there. It's also a kind of a psychological thing, I think. When you're standing in a ditch like that, shooting kind of over a slight crest uphill, I think people tend to overshoot a lot more. Because they're very afraid of Double firing low and hitting the hill in front of them. Oh, we got so of course you overcompensate, and then you end up skying your shot even worse than if you were to shoot. Maybe if you were standing on the road at those CSC units instead. So it's kind of a red herring, I think, that ditch. Uh, and of course, you've seen the artillery do some damage. There's a few oh, yeah. little uh, I just saw red e specs around there. So. Saw poor EB got hit. Yeah, and again, i got to give great props to the 14th Tennessee, who's on the guns for uh, CSA. They've been doing great work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they've got some, some, some very good shots there. Viking in his guys, it looks like. Oh, but looks like we got an attack here by multiple units of the Union on their left side now. CSA is relatively weak over there. If they can if they can get a foothold on the fences, I wonder if the CSA units in the woods will actually engage them, though, or perhaps protect themselves a little better here. And it looks like they're charging forward. I think they're going to try to go for kills, um, as opposed for any ground here. The Union does have to be careful because round about there is also the out of bounds area for Union. It can't really go much further or any further, in fact. I, mean, I forget the exact boundary, but it's right about there. Charge the right, charge the right. Yep, that is the end of the line here, but it looks like it's going to be a general melee. And I think the Union might be able to fight him in detail here. General melees always favor you on, on Otto Shoke Farm just because of the ticket management. To be fair, they've done very well in that melee. There's almost no CSA left already. Wow. No, oh, and that ticket lead is gone. Literally disappeared. They do have a Union unit in theory that could cap when they want to down as well. The 22 York. If, I don't know if that's their plan to cap on breaking or not. Uh, that, that could work very well. They could just sneak right on. In fact, I would pre cap right now if I was them. Yeah, There's, again, it depends on how many casualties they want for the for the board, I would assume, but they could capture pretty much right now if they want to. Because the CSA is going to go breaking here regardless, there's a general melee, as you say. It's like nice for us, actually coming back to point as well. I can hear Brutus screaming at people around him to, to get around him on point, so... There it is! The Union attack has now run out of steam, though. So oh, the CSA... 20th uh, went up the hill as opposed to helping out Brutish. All right, the oh, that is just, and now they're coming back down. Yeah, oh, that might push. have been oh. just in time if they was there die. to help them. We're going to die. We're going to die. Yeah. Oh, they could have friends, won the game. I mean, who knows? Maybe it wouldn't have, but... The Union is going to flood troops in. The, flag in the danger with this now, though, is the, the Union might get killed, you know, beaten in detail. Man. I think the Union is going to lose their heads a little bit here. You can see them rushing from main sport, a lot of these guys, and actually the CSA is fairly well positioned to deal with that now. I'd, I'd almost say consolidated, Mr. Wilkes. Absolutely. 
got a swear jar for Wilkes every time he says consolidated. So. <laughs> He must be a rich man. <laughs> oh, he's, he's said it uh, five times in the past week, so... Oh, nice. Three times in one sentence, which I was very impressed by. Oh, wow. They must have uh, been extra consolidated after that sentence. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting time. It looks like the Union is pulling back, though, so I think they're going to avoid the worst case of that. That's probably wise. They they do have the ticket lead again, um, so it's probably worth them just just letting cool heads prevail here and uh, trying to fix back up because they got their time is not the issue here. They have so much time is crazy, but uh, mindless charges will probably not win right now. Yep, might as well just wait for those flags to respawn. You got the time to wait. Press T for hold the star. Oh, we got poor Bluntus hanging out in the uh, bush here. He's hanging out, trying not to get seen. <laughs> it's almost like his gun is not poking through the fence in front of him. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I, he, I guess he's not too worried about it. I wonder who his target is. He's very well concealed, but the moment he fires that gun, there's a little bit of a flare going off. <laughs> so... I, I, you know what, it's probably good. I'll probably, yeah, I won't, I won't even try to monetize this one. Not that I monetize anyway. But there was a, um, today, a, uh, Assassination attempt might be a bit heavy on it, but of a guy in a shrub with a rifle pointing out a fence and a oh, direction oh yes, 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 that is rather topical. Yes, where were you two hours ago, Corporal Bluntist? I'm kidding. Oh, no, 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 where were you? Never, never, never. never, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's just where my mind went. I was like, where have I seen this before? Uh, that, would, that does ring a bell. You're right. <laughs> I don't know where the nearest golf course is to off the shack farm. Yeah, so you maybe, know, you know, maybe you can direct me. <laughs> you know, you know, watch, I watch, I, you know, I'm sure this is preserved historically. Watch, this is a golf course. Get that flag, boys. Get you know, right yeah. get I'm looking day. at some of these artillery shells, and you could use those as holes if you wanted to. So. <laughs> First CVC, boys. Oh lord. Is that JD hanging out on the push roof? Off of it. Let oh, he's lucky it up on that one. Right. Oh, yeah. They yeah, are yeah, securing the building. So You've got to respect it. Right now, so Can't bend the half on home. Yeah, if I want to go with more, you know, dark mm -hmm. Trump humor, you know, they, they're making sure there's no Will. counter snipers up there. <laughs> I, t I don't know if this theme can continue for another one and a half rounds. Go to no, <laughs> that's it's not. It's not. <laughs> oh, dear. This whole channel's getting fucking hit now, man. It's over. It was a good <laughs> run. It was a good run. I kept it going for about a year, but nope. I, I can't believe the uh, the final strike was a random British guy bringing that out of you as well. <laughs> At 1.54 in the morning for him. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Oh, there you go, you know. <laughs> oh, Lord. I was to Eagle the other day. He's, telling me, he's got a pretty good uh, Trump impression. I was telling him he should do it. For his, uh, his stream. I tell you who has a good Trump impression. First Virginia Henkel. I hope he watches this back. Henkel, your Trump impression is hilarious. If you ever get him I on have, a commentary have, with you, I have very gotta get, good. I have got to get him on there for that then. I mean, he's obviously a very funny guy anyway, but his Trump impression has me in stitches whenever he says it. <laughs> nice. I, am, I definitely got to hit him up for that then. Yeah, if, I mean, if monetization is your focus, then maybe don't. But if if comedy and entertainment is, then I think no, no, it's yeah. probably your your best option. I, guess I, I mean, I haven't bothered to monetize this thing yet, you know. And it probably, you know with this, it probably never will be. So you know. Oh, Union is starting to cap now with the 20th New York on point. I don't know if they intend to do this or. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's. I don't see why not. Oh, they lost the man. It will start going back. There it goes. <laughs> that is the issue with a three man capture squad. Yeah, uh, although it has true to CSA out. Coming Look at them falling center, down. Maybe maybe that was intentional. Who knows? That is a lot of troops flooding the zone now. Crouch to reload, gentlemen. I guess you could pull out a trip wire. Fire, 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 they fire, had three men that forced the entire CSA team to move pretty much. So no, that worked pretty out. Effective. I think that worked out very well for them. And CSA's behind on tickets again. 
I was very confused then, flying over the CSA line, and I realised somebody in the first Confederate cavalry has a sound pad of the uh, rebel yell when it drops a morale stick. I was looking at my screen like, there's no way they're in final push. <laughs> and then I realised what was that's, happening. That's, you know, that's some good, uh, that's some good, uh, you know, counter intel right there. Absolutely. Surprised they haven't got you know voices of people like being like, hey, you know, like you or you know, guys with very noticeable voices. You know, saying oh. certain commands. Oh, could you imagine if they just had random voice clips of me shouting, charge, everybody, stop fucking hiding at the back? Yep. <laughs> everybody would be like, you know, we we'll get Hood or Wilkes or, you know, any of the guys that are, you know, really well known. Oh, known. God. That's devilish. You shouldn't be saying that on the stream. You might have to take this video down now. <laughs> oh, no, this, this video is definitely never going up, man. <laughs> I'm going to quickly do the uh, parental duty and check in on the Parker clan right now. Uh, oh, there's, there's a few left. There's, there's, they're holding strong on the stone wall. They're still vibing. The bloodline is strong right now. Yeah, they're hanging out by the apple trees, you know, getting some snacks, you know. Absolutely, yep. Dude, I swear to God, if we actually just keep doing what we're doing and just fucking skirmish these other bitches out, we could win this fucking match. Did you see their fucking tickets? We're, we're winning in the fucking ticket race right now. Rix is a very well, brave man. Right? Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. He got headshotted. I'm so sorry, Rix. Yeah, That's my fault entirely. Ah, you know. But he was doing well in that ditch. <laughs> Good job, yeah, He was tried. He was tried. Exactly. Union is storming to point now, though. Back, Even the attack safe. right here. You've got the uh, second Yeah, space. I mean, the CSA is almost on, you know, last stand here. Riley, I would dump that pistol right now. I might have waited a little bit, but uh, they might just want to get the next match going. Stay on that corner! Hold, 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 hold! Got a good flank attack from TJ here, though. I'm not sure if the first, uh, sorry, the second US are aware of them. Uh, looks like they just noticed him, but uh, I think they'll get the volley off. That canister hit, though. CSA has to be careful on these charges though, because they're almost definitely going to land. Nah, this, this is the problem now. Yeah, they got all these little elements getting strung out here, getting nailed. Yeah. It's going to be a bunch of out of lines, it's going to kill them. That was out of lines in the center, right on point. Yeah, this is another one. This was not worth it. Absolutely. There it is, There's that last out of line. And look how close they got him down to final push, man. A little bit more discipline, I think they would have had him. Absolutely. What was what will always be funny though is the the actual casualty count. I mean, I would. It's it's hard to say for sure. I would estimate the union will probably take more casualties, maybe an extra 150, maybe 200, but they'll still lose by you know a, a fairly fairly convincing margin, even with the union going to final push by the end of this. Uh, maybe just short final push by the end of this capture phase. Yeah, they they might get him down to final push here. I'm not sure. Right, well, this map is a red herring for the campaign. You might win, but at what cost is you need really? Yep, we'll see how that goes. So, there we are, the win for the Union. Any uh, final thoughts, Mr. Parker? Uh, I think CSA played well. Uh, I, I genuinely always respect the CSA good defense of Auto Shake Farm because it's a ridiculously hard map to win on. Um, at the end there, you saw Union is literally on the edge of final push, which means they must have done something pretty well. Um, Maybe just a bit more control of their charges and counter charges um, would have made uh, enough of a difference. But I think they played pretty well. It's Union, I think, did what they needed to do. Nothing particularly flashy, nothing particularly amazing, but they don't have to at the same time. So I think what will be really telling is the casualty count here. Um, and that might be more impactful than the just the result in its pure form. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to give a shout out to the CSA already. I think they did quite well, 14 Tennessee, and that... Double envelopment they did to retake point, I think, was was quite good. Yeah, I think a little bit more discipline from them. Union, nothing spectacular, but like you said, don't need to be. Here we are at the final casualty count. I think that was pretty close, wasn't I? About yeah. 200 difference? Oh, there you go. <laughs> 200, not bad to call it. All right, well, we got one more to go, and we'll uh, hope to see you all on that one if I put this video up. <laughs>